Hey, what's going on everybody? Tally here coming at you with another beer review, kind of part two of the Treehouse series of Alter Ego, as you see here. Uh, this is Doppelganger, a double IPA by Treehouse, 8%. Um, and it is the big brother of Alter Ego. It, uh, what they do is they have an extra kettle and an extra dry hopping of, I think, Amarillo and Mosaic. Um, it doesn't say on the back, but... Yeah, so Alter Ego is Julius's twin brother, and this is the big brother of Alter Ego. Crazy, I know it's hard to keep track of, but uh, we get to drink great beers. Uh, awesome can, I didn't really mention it in the Alter Ego review, but um, this has light blue with a dark treehouse, and this has dark blue with a light blue treehouse. I don't know, it's kind of cool. Um, canned on 328. So a day before, so this is a week and a half, or two and a half weeks old. Very fresh. Very excited to try it. Um, give some tasting notes. Uh, tropical papaya mango peach. So we'll see if we get that. I gotta roll it. I didn't roll it yet. That's very important. Uh, yeah, I'm drinking a few beers tonight. Kind of relaxing and and drinking some beers, so that's why I'm in the same same outfit that the Alter Ego review is in. Alright, getting it into a glass here. That. This one is pouring a little bit darker, a little bit um, more turkey gravy, a little creamier, a little milkier I guess. Um, like I said, a little bit darker but, but definitely more creamy, more milky. Um, same treehouse head, one finger white Pretty fluffy little sudsy bubbles, beautiful. Um, yeah, it looks it looks awesome. It looks like a bigger bigger version of Alter Ego. So let's get an aroma. This one is much more tropical to me, uh, much more sweet, juicy, tropical forward. Whereas Alter Ego uh, was more citrus and kind of zesty, kind of tangy aromas. This is much more sweeter, juicy like mango, papaya, those juicy, juicy, tropical, uh, tropical fruits. A little bit of a peach in the middle there. And, and then that signature treehouse, uh, malty, crackery, bready sweetness that you get, you know, and, and I'm, I get anyway most of the treehouse beers. Um, so yeah, it smells great. Let's get a taste of Doppelganger by Treehouse Brewing Company. Cheers, everybody. Heavier mouthfeel. Still a good creaminess, like the Alter Ego. Still fluffy, but a little bit heavier. Um, everything's a little bit more amplified. Uh, like I said, in the aroma, yeah, there's much more sweet uh, sweet tropical flavors in this. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm getting that juicy mango, that juicy papaya, uh, a little bit of tangy pineapple in there, um, but lots of those sweet juicy tropical fruits. I'm getting a flavor in the middle that's like a... it's div it's like a light... I don't want to say banana, because banana is a very strong flavor, but it's like a very light, like a light banana, which is, uh, which is a little bit weird and is probably not the right term for it, but I'm getting a little bit different tropical fruit like that. Um, you do definitely get some peach and some like dried apricots um, because of my diet challenge that I've been on. I've been eating. Um, dried apricots as a snack between meals and and the first time I had them I opened the bag and I smelled it and tasted them and I said I said to myself I've gotten this out of beers I've gotten this from beers before and I've never had that um that <coughs> that knowledge of what those are on my palate but now I can you know express to you guys what those are so that was pretty exciting <coughs> I digress um, yeah, very tropical, where this one, where Alter Ego is more citrusy. Yeah. 
nice earthy slash grapefruit bitterness on the back end. Uh, very much, much more juicy on the finish. That ha this one had a drier finish. Alter Ego did. Uh, so Doppelganger's much is a much more juicy finish. Um, yeah, it's just a bigger, it's a bigger, more tropical beer to me. Definitely not as easy drinking. Can't really taste the alcohol, but um, definitely fuller bodied, definitely heavier, big, big tropical, some nice juicy tropical fruits, peach, apricot, uh, that, that breadiness, that maltiness definitely carries over into the flavor as well in the body. Uh, like I said, it's heavier and then a juicy, wet kind of finish. Um, it's not as drying as this one. Definitely not as crushable, but still very good. Another winner from Treehouse. Definitely uh, worth getting your hands on. I mean, I sound like a broken record, but if you like these good New England IPAs, you can't really go wrong uh, with these. These mainstay beers from Treehouse. They're all a little bit different. They're all, you can dissect them all in different ways, which is fun because they're very well put together, very complex, uh, and that's exciting for, for a beer geek like me. So, another winner. Awesome beer. Thank you, Kyle, for uh, hooking me up with this one along with all the other tree houses. I appreciate that a lot. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really liked it, subscribe to my channel. <laughs> um, I have links to my social media in the description, my Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. It's at Review the Brew. I post things on there all the time. I'll have a link to some merch, some swag, uh, Review the Brew t-shirts and sweatshirts in the description as well. Uh, so if you want to support the channel and if you like the logo, want a shirt with the logo on it, head over there and, and get one of those. Big, uh, big shout out to Sean at Draft Therapy for helping me put together the new Review the Brew logo. I appreciate that a lot. Check out his channel as well. So if you're still watching and you've had this beer, let me know in the comments below. <clears throat> let me know what you thought of it or Alter Ego or both. Uh, thanks again, again guys for watching. I'll see you in the next uh, video, review, whatever, whatever I post next. Later.